so this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well a Cancer Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading October uh, 12th to October 18th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading or in uh, tarot classes, information for both you can find into the description down below. So with that being said, let's... Uh, Let's move straight away to the good part here, and that will be the spread that I'm going to do. Eight card spread. The first upper half of the spread is going to describe your uh, love and romance for the upcoming week. The bottom half is going to pretty much show up your uh, professional development and as well uh, career. So let's uh, have a look what you got. Uh, the first one is going to be the Prince of Cups, which is the Knights of Cups, followed by the Five of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Moon, and then is going to be the Eight of uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, then, in terms of career, that will be the Eight of so the Seven of Swords. I'm sorry, followed by the the Ten of Cups. After that is going to be the Nine of Cups, and the last one that we do have is the Three of Cups. So career, the career reading is much clearer than the uh, than the relationship reading here, and the, than the uh, or career part is much clearer than the love and the romance part of the spread. So in terms of uh, love and romance, the first thing that really comes to um, to my attention are those two cards that we do have them in the correspondent positions. Five of Swords and the Moon card. And the Five of Swords in this specific position actually kind of like urges you to uh, show compassion, solidarity, but above everything else as well, a understanding. What I'm trying to say, it is that say that you have recently been hurt, you know, uh, your suitor or your uh, wife uh, or your partner in general said something or did something that hurts you. Um, and uh, the card in this position kind of urges you not to jump quick into judgment for the reasons that they done that. I'm not say, saying that they are acquitting them, but they're kind of like, they have a good reason that they have done it, you know, they, they, they may have been very stressed at work, uh, or they may had a, a different kind of uh, issues residing elsewhere. The, the whole thing that the Five of Swords here is pointing, it is that it's not your fault, okay? That's first thing. And the second is that, well, I, I don't know how to describe it. The second is that, you know, you, you have to pretty much go with this person if you love them through um, through ice and fire, okay? You can't have only pleasant moments with them. There will be also rough patches that have to be, or rough things that have to be patched out. And that is that is one of them, okay? Aside from that, with the Prince of Cups here sitting on the very prime position, it kind of points that this week uh, you are going to step one step, you are going to move one step closer, if not all the way through, to uh, pretty good emotions that your heart is going to experience. In, because the uh, Knights of uh, Cups in terms of relationships, it is where you do see the dreams of your heart kind of taking shape and coming true while they may not be entirely manifested, okay? And obviously, that is a pretty good sign for those that are single, for the card could describe that throughout this week, they're going to kind of like stumble upon uh, an individual and a person that really matches them very well. And I mean, it's going to be uh, an individual that's if you are in a relationship with, it's going to be everything that you have ever wanted. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to end up in a relationship throughout this week. It's just the appearance of that individual. And when I go forward with those cards, or they are pretty much here describing, you know, that you should go along with it. It's going to take time, okay? But ultimately, at the end, the whole endeavor is going to worth it. So the moon card in this particular here position, it kind of points that there is no question about you are on the right track with your love life. Whatever you are doing, it's the right thing that you are doing it, okay? So don't stop. Even if it doesn't seem that way, because the moon is very strange, okay? It, it points that 
there are circumstances that you are unaware of. Nobody is aware of, in fact, because if you are aware of those circumstances, you will change the path or in other words, you are going to sway from the right course that you are on right now. And um, I'm not using the right deck here or the traditional deck, but pretty much in the traditional deck, there is a path that goes beyond the mountain, the mountain where it goes at the place you need to be, but you don't see it because it's beyond the mountain, right? And that's why you may feel uncertain and insecure right now, but it all going to make sense in time. Okay. Uh, additionally, as the moon sits into this position here, the card points that uh, throughout the week you are shielded from a fantasies and lies. So even if somebody tried to lie, uh, tried to lie to you, you are gonna smell it from a miles away. And finally, that we do come to the Eight of Pentacles at the end. It does depend what kind of a state you're gonna end up with at the end of the week, uh, because the Eight of Pentacles may suggest that you are going to start developing a thing that you have more or less planned in a sense of that say you have planned to move somewhere or, or to move in with the person you love you have planned to go somewhere you know just two of you maybe you have planned as well to renovate your home maybe you have planned to propose and that plan the plan is going to start manifesting itself this isn't the ultimate the ultimate manifestation that is where it starts manifesting okay uh, and also the eight of pentacles may play a role where you do open like a, like a blooming like a like a flower especially true for those that have been um, severely disappointed from uh, love experiences and they have a hard time opening up well uh, by the end of this week because a such a compatible person will appear you know you may find a reason to bloom once again so that is the in term of love now let's have a look in term of career it's it's pretty interesting uh, and in term of career it does look like that for you uh, as you do tackle with your uh, usual routine in term of career at certain point throughout the week the thing it's no longer going to be enough you simply will ask for more that is pretty clear from these couple of cards the ten of cups sitting into this position it kind of points that uh, the more the week progresses the more you are going to uh, grow dissatisfied from the state from the position from the tasks that you are dealing with uh, because they are going to look so mundane all right and, and you would want to do something more meaningful out there or work some meaning for some more meaningful challenging job as well and there what happens it is that if that it is not presented to you it is not given to you you're going to storm the situation and demand it yourself and if the company you're working at does not present you with the choice or not with the choice but with the with the um opportunity if i may say it that way you may not change your job straight away, but you are going to start considering looking for other places where I can give you, you know, the opportunity you think you deserve and you couldn't be further from the truth. OK. Or you couldn't be closer to the truth than that. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. um, wrong expression. So, um, but I do believe because we do have the nine of cups into this position is that you are going to be given what you think you deserve or what you truly deserve or what you demand on. So that is uh, the week where you do, uh, in my mind, uh, you do settle um, disagreements unspoken disagreements, let's say it that way with the people that your work depends on and uh it's pretty much you put everything where it belongs or you put yourself at a place where it belongs for at the end of the week for what it seems with the three of cups everybody will be happy and not just only that but you also are going to see results of your toils right and that's why this is a week where you shouldn't shy from a toiling and from um pretty much what is the word? Um, even if it is a slog, all right? So, yeah, it's it's pretty much that's uh, that's what the career reading shows, that your toils is going to pay off and uh, 
if you think that you are capable of bigger toils that will bring bigger uh, bigger rewards you definitely have to cry out about it for as we do have the seven of swords on the first position uh, it's not going to be brought to the awareness of uh, of your boss meaning that even if you are capable of even if you do have accomplishments and achievements your boss is not going to see it or even if they they see it they are not going to acknowledge it and that's why you have to raise your voice about it at least according to the spread and at the end you're going to see the fruits of uh, of your labor now those that are looking for uh, for a, a job it's highly likely that they can start working throughout this week it's going to be a little bit of a big piece to choose chew up and swallow down but you will be able to get the hang of it should you grapple on it tightly and um, name your terms all right okay so that was your weekly general tarot reading cancer hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and we may see each other next time until then bye